talking about 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2, number 29. And here we were asked to solve this system of equations. And the first thing I want to do when I look at that system is I see some fractions in there. So I'm going to multiply by the LCD and get rid of those fractions. And the LCDs, respectively, for the second and third equation are 10 and 2. So when I get done with that, I've got this nicer looking system of three by threes, and there's no fractions in them. And then I can opt to um, eliminate X, Y, or Z. I'm gonna go with the Zs in this case um, for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, these two coefficients are the same, that's nice. And also this is a negative, these two are positive, and six is a multiple of two. So that seems like a whole bunch of nice stuff to take advantage of using elimination. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and multiply that second equation by negative one. And I'm gonna see um, what comes out of that. And once I do that, once I multiply it by negative one, I can see I'm gonna have a negative six Z there. But when you go to multiply that equation by negative one, something nicer happens. Um, if you combo the first and second equation, the second equation after you've multiplied it by negative one, not only did the, the z's eliminate, but the y's do also. So that's awesome when you get that two for one. And then I'm able to solve for x. So I've already got one of my letters. I should say, well, one of my letters, my one of my variables, x is solved for. So then what I can do is I can plug seven back into any of these original equations and simplify that three by three to a two by two. Now I opted to sub it into the first and third equation just cause. And when I do that, when and that's what you see me doing here, I'm substituting that seven into two of the um, original equations. I get this two by two. And that becomes a lot easier to solve now with elimination. And again, I'm gonna still opt to eliminate the Z's. They have opposite signs and six is a multiple of two. So that's great. So that means I'm gonna multiply this third equation here by three, and that's the algebra you see me doing down here. When I do that by design, the Z's eliminate, and I've got my Y letter, right? So I've got X and I've got Y, so all I need to do is plug those two values back into almost any equation that involves Z. So I could do this one, I could do this one. It doesn't matter, pick one. I wound up picking this one, so okay. When I solve for z, I get 16, and there's my ordered triple. Right, and like with any of these, you could take those three values, plug them back into your original, before we ever altered anything, plug them back into your original system of equations. And if equality holds, then you know you've got the correct answer. All right, thanks so much. Bye.